Game number 100 in Coastal Carolina football history. A gutsy win on Saturday night at Brook Stadium. Good Sunday. This is the David Bennett Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. We welcome in the victorious Shauna Clears mm -hmm. head coach. Coach, uh, your team showed an awful lot of resilience and another bump in the road. And we're going to talk about Aramis's injury. But uh, what a wonderful job the kids did in the face of some serious adversity. Yeah, and I said, thank you, dear Lord. We needed that win. And our university needed Our kids needed Our 18 seniors that aren't going to get a chance to play uh, in Brooks Stadium on Benton Field again. Uh, we needed that. Our defense stepped it up real big, Rich, holding PC to two field goals, and then they got the safety. That's how they got their eight points. And PC showed a lot of guts in that final drive, and I'm uh, just very proud of our young men for holding on and, uh, uh, what would you say, uh, persevering and uh, getting the win right there. It was uh, just a great effort by our young men. And Coach, uh, when Aramis Hillary went down, you uh, were forced into uh, an interesting quarterback situation yep. and you were able to utilize Jamie Childers just back from injury yep. and Cody Craig as well. Yeah, you know, Jamie uh, sprained his knee and has been out. He came back on Wednesday and Thursday, worked a little bit of tight end, and I thought we were going with Cody. I even told Cody, get ready, son, you can do it. Next thing I know, and Coach Brown says, hey, we're going to go with Jamie first. He's a senior. We're going to give him that chance. He didn't take one rep at quarterback this week, not one. So Jamie threw a big pass, big touchdown pass in there. I thought he stepped up really well for us. Coastal Carolina and Presbyterian on Saturday night at Brooks Stadium. Let's check out the action in a very entertaining ball game. Yeah, Red says a beautiful, uh, nice, cool evening. Warm compared to last week at Stony Brook. But right, about that. right here you see Tom Benedetto's little boy Willie uh, out for the honorary coin flip. Uh, coin flip. Uh, he was an unbelievable man. He and his wife fostered over 50 children and adopted four, and we'll miss him. He was more than a key man at Coastal. He was more than a locksmith. And here's Aramis Hillary on the opening drive. What a great opening drive by the offense, Coach. Yep, take it, and uh, we're going with the win. And, uh, Need to go down there and get some points, and we do just that, Rich. A good, very good opening drive here. Good throw. Uh, Mike Lamoli, senior out of New Jersey, his first career catch. Very proud for Mike Lamoli to win on senior day. A real leader uh, off the field as well as on the field, Coach. Our players love him. They respect him as much as anybody on the team, Rich. And then here's Aramis with a great throw to Chris Presley. Great play right there on third down, uh, getting us down there in scoring position. Great hands by Chris Presley. Good concentration. And then the uh, senior from Mullins High, Dushawn Davis with a great catch. Great protection there of our offensive line. Dushawn getting it down to the one. You see he wanted to get it in there real bad out of Mullins, South Carolina. Very proud for Dushawn as well. And that would lead to Aramis Hillary, a two-yard touchdown run. What a great opening drive, Coach. 7-0 shots. Aramis, get way on in there. Don't leave any doubt. Lay on in there. Get your whole body across that line. That definitely was a touchdown, though, Rich. Good to get on the board first. Yes, what a great opening drive for Coastal. Uh, covered about 65 yards, marched right down the field, and here comes the Coastal defense going to work. Marcus Lott playing with that wrist. Lott playing with that broken wrist. What a what a great young man. That's uh, Seth right there, Seth Moreland out of Conway, uh, doing a great job for Presbyterian. And uh, just a, a good play right here by Josh Norman, a big pick to stop their drive. They're trying to tie it up 7-7. A great interception. Josh had a heck of a game. Coach, I want to take a look at this again as the Coastal Ice cool play of the game, and I want you to pay attention to Quinn Backus with the pressure here. Wow, he gets him right as he releases the ball, which helps cause an underthrow, and great job by Quinn Backus applying the pressure and Josh getting the pick. Travis Small starting to come around. Yeah, he's getting close, Rich. You and I have talked about that. He's getting close to having that breakout day. I think he got about 65 yards. We want to see him just have a phenomenal day. Travis Small out of Chira, South Carolina, another big run. Yep, Travis, uh, again, good job by our offensive line. You can be the best running back in the world, but the OL has to, has to open the holes for you, Rich. But here, uh, the drive would stall uh, coming up here uh, with a turnover. What happens here? Let's go, Aramis. You either got to eat it, throw it away, throw it to someone, or run it, but you can't let that ball go right there. Can't let it go. We set them up. Defense does a great job here, Rich, holding them to a field goal. And that's Dexter Holman with a big stop. Great play by Dexter. We said all along, Dexter is blessed with all kind of athletic talent. He can dunk a basketball, just focus in and play hard. And he did that right there, Rich. Have to consider this a moral victory, just yep. three points. Oh, yeah. You give him the ball in scoring position. Good job here. I thought Austin Kane did a much better job Saturday night. 
uh, does our little rugby punt, gets the ball down to about the seven or eight yard line right there, the seven. Great job, great job. That's field position in a close ball game is very important. And now here's Aramis with a pass to Jamie Childers. This is the final play of the first quarter, Coach, and we'll segue into the first play of the second quarter when Aramis gets hurt. Yeah, uh, end of the first quarter right here. We flip the field. Jamie's just came back practicing Wednesday and Thursday, We're, you know, working a little bit at tight end. Aramis releases the throw to Chris Preston but gets rolled up underneath back there uh, by a block. Two linemen roll up on his ankle and sprain his ankle pretty darn good. And, so uh, I thought we was going with Cody and uh, Coach Brown said, so let's go with a senior. Let's give Jamie a shot at this, even though he'd just come back from a month away. He didn't take any reps at quarterback, but thought he came in and did a very good job, Rich. Here's more coastal defense. Coach, big stop here in the secondary. Yeah, good play there by Dontavius Johnson, who was one of the transfers when Hofstra dropped their program, and uh, just good coverage right there. Uh, PC settles for a field goal. Uh, they've got a good kicker right there. That's uh, six points. Defense has now held them to six points, which is pretty good keeping them out of that end zone. 7-6 Coastal in front. We see uh, more Coastal defense. Boy, okay. CT came to play. Another Hofstra guy, and uh, Chris Thomas, I believe, had three sacks in this ball game. So, very proud of Chris. He's a little undersized, but he's a overachiever, Rich. Great motor on CT, to say the least. And uh, here's Jamie. Great job by the old line. And I thought Demario Bennett was going to get this one, Coach. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Squeeze it tight. Uh, Bethel, great safety there for Presbyterian. Knocks that thing loose. Just hang on to it. Would have been down there definitely in scoring position. Staying there with Coach Gabe in that weight room. Look at this hit by uh, Josh Norman putting his face on the ball. That is a beautiful tackle. They get in their wildcat formation, and Josh knocks that ball loose and sets us up for a, hopefully we would want to get a score before the half right there. Coach, things get real interesting in this final couple uh, of minutes. Uh, and lots of twists and turns, but first, Jamie does a great job of eluding the rush and gets a pass interference call. Great job by Jamie, avoiding the sack. He's got great feet, big, strong guy, great hands. We get the interference call right there, which moves us a little closer, but need to get on the board here before the half. That right there, he doesn't have it, doesn't tuck it away. Thank goodness they got it straight and ruled that an incomplete pass because uh, Akeem Wesley didn't have it. And uh, Chris, uh, Chris Presley was trying to block the guy wide, but it was just a crazy play. But I'm glad they got it right and gave us the ball back down here, Rich. Incomplete pass on that play. And then here's Chris Presley. This is clearly a touchdown, Coach. Oh, great air by Jamie. We're going to have to send this one in here, Rich, and let them review this thing. Uh, oh, boy. Look at there. Beautiful throw and catch. That's all I can say. Can't say nothing bad. Well, I can. You got Rob there. And then here, Presley again with a touchdown, this time ineligible receiver downfield. Another one called back. They said that Chris lined up on the line, which he and Matt Hazel, Hazel covered him up. Somebody's got to be on. Somebody's got to be off right there, Rich. That's why it's called an ineligible receiver downfield. So no points on the board, 7-6 at the half because Grant Clayton's field goal is blocked. Yeah, PC did a good job. One of our big linemen. One of our biggest linemen got blown up right there, and you can't allow that to happen. you got to secure your gap right there, Rich, and PC did a, another fine job. Third quarter now and more CT, Chris Thomas. Way to go, Chris. Uh, proud for him. Uh, making a great sack right there. Uh, that's uh, another one of his three sacks, which were very big for us. And then here's Presbyterian with a, just a fantastic punt. It's going to be down uh, at the one. Catch that, Niccolo. That ball hit on the 10. You know, he's taught right there. If it's on the tender out in front of it, catch it. Goes over your head, let it bounce in. So, and not a good call. That's my fault. I should have told Coach Brown, let's just sneak that ball out of there. When you hand that thing off, backed up on the one, you give them a chance for somebody to break through. And they did. They did. They, they got us for safety there. Presbyterian now with an 8-7 lead. They were driving again, Coach. I think here coming up is the big momentum swing of this football game. And it comes on special teams. And your senior, Josh Norman, does it again. Yeah, some big plays by Josh in this game. Uh, he blocks the field goal right there, picked up right there by, uh, I believe that's Philip, Philip George out of Keenan High. Great job. Josh has got great quickness coming off that edge, and he got a jump on the snapper. He timed it up just right and blocked it. So it stays an 8-7 game, and here comes Cody Craig running the offense. Come on, Cody. Don't let him grab your leg. That's why we got to squat in that weight room, baby. Cody's going to be all right. He's a competitor. and. Played in a hard-nosed offense for his daddy, Art, down there at Timberland High. Uh, and we're telling Travis right there, don't let one guy tackle you in open field, baby. Let's go pick them legs up. 
And now Coastal driving with Cody Craig at offense, but Grant Clayton misses the field goal. You're still down 8-7 in the fourth, Coach. Wind blowing a little bit right there. Get that thing over to the right upright a little bit, and I believe would have made it, but Grant's still a good kicker now. He's a good kicker. Great play right there. Uh, that is Derek Frazier out of Orangeburg right there, ready for the little drag uh, route. They love to run that drag route, and it got us once or twice, but we got them more than they got us on it. Now here's Jamie Childers back at offense. Akeem Wesley with a catch for 14 yards. Good touch to Akeem right there, getting the ball up near midfield. Got to go down there and get a score, Rich. Need to go get a score. And more coastal defense. Uh, here's uh, Jamel Davis. Yep, their quarterback right there slipped, and Jamel's right there to secure him. Uh, for the loss, they were trying to run a little bit of option on us. Come on, Quinn. Come on right here. Lorenzo Bowles, a kid out of Columbia High, and Quinn Backus making a great play right there. <laughs> Get excited. Act like you've been there before and celebrate with your teammates. The Waccamaw Landon Timber shots rewind. Boy, Quinn Backus continues to impress. Quinn's going to be all right and when he just learns everything to do and it becomes natural and he doesn't have to think. He's a good football player. Got a, a great nose for the ball. Here on the punt, Niccolo is going to get interfered with. You get 15 more yards, Coach. This sets the table for you. Yep. They, uh, you know, they can't hit the guy if he's catching the ball. you got to let him catch it. And so they just kind of run into him there. We had one time Denzel Rice got hit with the ball. He didn't know where he was. you got to be heads up on special teams. We catch him in cover two here. We secure the safety with the inside guy. DeMario goes to the hole between the corner and the safety. Jamie sticks it in there. The Crescent Bank chalkboard, coach draws it up, and there's the execution. Childers to DeMario Bennett, 35 yards, and Coastal's got the lead. We needed that. We needed that big time, and uh, then they're going to jump off sides right here, line up off sides for the uh, extra point, which puts it on the one and a half. We decide to put Cody in there and run a little gun option, and Cody does a great job of getting this thing in right here. Big moment for Cody Craig. This is really his first significant highlight as a Shauna Clear. Yep, and uh, – Again, like I said, he's a tough guy and just getting better, a little quicker on his release, and uh, glad he's on our team. Great to see Cody all fired up there. Yep, he's uh, – and we'll probably roll him a little bit with Jamie this week as well, at quarterback. And then the defense going to try and hold on for this last drive. Up there and get him again the second time, Derek. Uh, Derek Frazier out of Orangeburg, very proud of Derek. Uh, good, uh, relentless pursuit right there. They had a little motion going right there. They did, PC did a great job converting on some fourth downs. And uh, I'm just telling you, they, they showed a lot of grit and showed a lot of fight. It's 15 to eight, late in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, a fourth down play. They flick it to their back out of the backfield. Keeps the drive alive. We were trying to get a legal procedure penalty on the right tackle, but you know what, end of the game, they're gonna let them play, Rich. They're just gonna let them play. And this is the final play, just 14 yards away from forcing overtime. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't get that right there because uh, the home team, the good guys, needed a victory right here, Rich. And we go out there and run turtle and just down it and win the ball game. Your favorite play in the playbook, turtle. I love it. I mean, we're not, we know we're trying to run it, the clock out, and we've got a victory. And Coastal Carolina improves to 5-4, 15-8, the final on senior night at Brooks Stadium in Benton Field over the Blue Hose. Coach, I'll steal a line from you. Uh, never a dull moment at Brook Stadium. That game was a real entertaining game to watch. Maybe a little nerve-wracking for you. Well, I, I'm just telling you, if I live anywhere around Ole County, I'm going to get me some season tickets to Coastal Carolina football because it's always entertaining. And uh, just proud of our young men for the effort they showed tonight. As Coastal Carolina breaks a three-game losing streak, the Shauna Clears now 5-4 and four on the season after that 15-8 win over Presbyterian. Let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to head back to Brooks Stadium for post-game reaction. You're watching the David Bennett Show, presented by HTC. Waste Management presents Where Are They Now? A look back at former Coastal Carolina Shanta Clears. Brian Keppel played on the offensive line at Coastal Carolina from 2003 through 2006. The 305 pounder out of Clover was an all Big South Conference selection. So what is Brian up to now? Right now I work for waste management in Florence, South Carolina, dump a little bit of garbage. I'm operations manager up there. It's a great time seeing everybody again. Oh, all kinds of great memories. Just my teammates. A great group of guys. Miss them dearly, and it's, it's been a great time. Where Are They Now is presented by Waste Management, a proud sponsor of The David Bennett Show. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see. 
or hear or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. A and I, over, t over the years that we've had working relationships that handled fires, water losses, wind losses, they've been there for us so that we could be there for our clients. Their professionalism, their follow-up, it, it has been absolutely flawless. If everybody did the work as they promised to do, like a and I does, we'd be in real good shape in this town. When disaster strikes, we're the ones to call. Coastal Carolina University Sean Declears need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. As Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Sean Declears and sponsors of the Dave Bennett Coaches Show. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time to hear from Coach Bennett's staff and their thoughts on Saturday's game. This week's coordinator comments are being brought to you by Coca-Cola. Well, uh, Jamie and Cody did a good job. Jamie hasn't taken a rep at quarterback in over a month. Um, we didn't give him any reps at quarterback last week when he came back on a Wednesday. So I'm very proud of those guys that are fighting through it. I'm proud of the old well stepping up and helping us a little bit with the calls and protection stuff and communicating it. So a group effort there of those guys. Well, I guys spoke all week about that wasn't coastal defense that they saw last Last few weeks and they were ready to get back to what we do and what we do best being aggressive chasing people and we got better this week so hopefully we get better again next week I've actually been upstairs since Liberty uh, since I've been injured and uh, it is very stressful because you want to put your hands on them so to speak to make the adjustments but I tell you what Mike Castellano who's down on the field uh, Paul Holmes a student coach Brock Snyder student coach Dominique Hill student coach has done a fabulous job. Those four individuals have done a great job. And Coach Watson and Coach Kane up in the booth has done a great job with the special teams and working with them since I've been injured. So, hey, we got we do it by committee. Uh, our three coordinators, they're great men. And uh, uh, Coach Walker, Coach Brown, Coach Drayton. Coach Drayton is tough on him being up in the box with his torn patella tendon. And uh, Coach C, Coach, uh, uh, two young student assistants that help us, uh, student manager Paul Holmes and Brock Schneider, the general, they did a great job. Taking a look at the stats now from Coastal Carolina's victory over PC. Coach, uh, the Blue Hose outgained you 246 to 196, but, you know, it doesn't really matter because <laughs> you got the most important stat at all, and that's yeah. a W. Yeah, and uh, I heard our guys at halftime, our defense, before we got over and talked to them, they said, guys, we got to step it up. You know, Aramis is out, and we've got to shut them out. And they held them to uh, two field goals, and one of them, we set them up for the field goal. Our offense set them up, so – just very, very proud of our defense and got to keep on going. Got two more left, Rich. Taking a look at the individual numbers, Travis Small, boy, I feel like he's this close to breaking out. 13 carries for 64 yards, and uh, Jamie was 2 of 14. Uh, but, you know, that's maybe a little bit of the rust right there. Uh, a reminder that Jamie had that sprained MCL against VMI. This was his first action back, and uh, he got thrown into the fire. He did, and, uh, you know, again, for not taking any reps at quarterback, I thought he did some great things. And PC did a great job timing up some blitzes, and we called it, they called him in the pocket a little bit. And so, uh, again, just but you know, the, our defense had to step it up for us to win that game because we were spitting and spurting a little bit on offense, and our defense did it. That was our goal for the day. You know, we want to stop them, you know, get a couple more sacks because our, our offense, I mean, our defense hasn't, you know, really been getting a lot of pressure on uh, opposing quarterbacks. So, our goal is to go in there and get, you know, give them pressure pressure them um, and make plays. But it's even special, you know, for us guys, the rest of the seniors, the last ones, you know, to go out with a W here on this field, on, on our home, home turf. You know, I always love this crowd when I come here, every home game. It felt great, man. You know, we try to talk about, like, being a family, close-knit, believing in one another. You know, Airmans went down, and, you know, we kept faith in Jamie, and he came in and played well. I didn't really think I was playing quarterback. I didn't pick up a ball before the game. I just caught the ball and uh, just uh, got warmed up on the sideline, got my mind right, knew to uh, just try to help, help us win as much as I can. It, it just felt good to be able to benefit our team. You know, Coach Ben always says, what value do you bring to the team? And I just, uh, I'm glad to be able to do something to help everyone else. 
RACC peak performer from the Presbyterian game, Josh Norman, the senior from Greenwood High School. Uh, what a way to finish his Brook Stadium career. Yep, Josh is very talented. He can block him in practice, and he got off uh, at the right time and uh, did a great job blocking that field goal. That was a great momentum changer for us. Time now for the injury report brought to you by Conway Medical Center. And, Coach, uh, as a lot of the Coastal fans tuning in here, uh, on this Sunday at 12 noon, want to know the latest on Aramis Hillary and uh, that ankle uh, certainly at very best, uh, very questionable for this week against Charleston Southern. Yeah, we'll just see how fast he can rehab, how great a job Jeff Pounds can do with him, our head trainer, and we've got a couple of guys banged up. Marcus Lott tried to go with his broken wrist, and he made some great plays early, but uh, – you know, it is what it is. We've lost some great guys there, and we've just got to uh, close ranks and march on, as Coach Drayton says, and uh, will be a great challenge for us this week. Time for us to step away. When we come back, it's time for Sean's Corner. The coach goes one-on-one -on -one with Akeem Wesley. That's when the David Bennett Show continues right after this. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Palmetto Chevrolet, a and Fire and Water Restoration, Creek Rats, Conway Medical Center, Bojangles, the Britton Law Firm, and Coastal Ice. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton. Along with my children, Case, Preston, and Mary Madison, I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. We're all graduates of Walford College, but we're great supporters of David Bennett, Coastal Carolina football, and the great university Coastal Carolina has become. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program, the Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merle Center and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. With my HTC wireless phone, I'm always connected to the world around me. Whether it's simple everyday things like a call from a friend, a text from my daughter, or even an update to my Facebook status while I'm out and about, HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. HTC is your wireless headquarters for back to school. Get three months of HTC residential high-speed internet free with new HTC wireless service. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time now for Sean's Quarter, brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Welcome to the Atkins Field House here in the Brown Locker Room. We're with Akeem Wesley, better known as Pookie. And we got a couple of questions for you, Pook. Number uh, one, first question. Growing up, who was the biggest influence on you? Uh, my grandmother would be the biggest influence on my life growing up. Like She taught me all the morals about life. She taught me how to fight and be a single parent and raise someone on your own and not give up on the things that you want in life. Okay. What's your best Coastal Carolina memory to date? 09 uh, Towson game when I dropped. Well, I let the game win a touchdown get into my pads instead of catching it with my hands. That's a good memory? That's a bad one for me. That's a you. good one because I feed off that every day that I go out and, and practice and play and go hard. So you're turning I, a negative into, into a positive. positive. I don't want it to happen again. Let my I team like, down. I like that. Um, if you could have a redo in life, what would it be? Uh, nothing. Like, everything that someone go through in life, I just feel like it happens and it makes you who you are. Like, once you go through that negative thing, it shows true character when you come out of it and be positive. Good. When you hear game day, what do you think of? Adrenaline getting rushed in and just thinking about how hard the team went through at practice all through the week and stare at this game time and show everybody what we come out there to do, the win. Okay. And last thing. Pick one coach on our staff out of all our coaches, Pookie, and let's see if you can imitate them. All right. Go with you. Someone make a mistake on the field. Not a, not even a mistake. I wouldn't say a mistake. They just do something bad. You call it, you be like, oh, what is you doing, the DA? <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Waste Management, Coastal Orthopedic and Strand Orthopedic, Coca-Cola, Crescent Bank, and HTC, title sponsor of the David Bennett Show for the past eight years.
All right, guys, it's crunch time. The game's on the line. You played great so far, but you got to finish the job. You got to finish the job. You're the team everybody wants to be. Come on, guys. Let's go show them why we're the champs. Right now, get the longest lasting, most versatile, and most fuel efficient lineup in America at Palmetto Chevrolet. No one has more Consumer Digest best buys for the 2010 model year than Chevrolet. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and Palmetto Chevrolet. A winning combination. And nobody beats a Palmetto deal. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. It's time for a Bojangles blast from the past. We take you back to November 20th of 2010. Coastal Carolina caps off the regular season with a blowout win over Charleston Southern. Quarterback Zach McDowell tied a Big South Conference single game mark, throwing five touchdown passes. And Niccolo Master Mateo broke a conference record with this 91-yard punt return for a touchdown in the Shantz 70-3 waxing of the Buccaneers as CCU clinches its fourth Big South championship and locked up a playoff spot. Blast from the Past is brought to you by your Grand Strand Bojangles, proud sponsor of The David Bennett Show. Time now for the HTC Scouting Report. And coach, you get ready to head down to Charleston. Always a big rivalry game when the Buccaneers and Shauna Clears get together. Yep, and I know they'll be hungry for a win. And uh, we'll get their best effort. Jay Mills and them uh, will remember last year's game, and I'll promise you they'll give us everything they got. And we just saw it on the blast from the past. Coastal Carolina getting that 70-3 to win over the Bucks last year here at Brooks Stadium in Benton Field. And, Coach, it is very early in the game, but I know that you immediately turn your attention to Charleston Southern, and you have to act right now as if you don't have error, Miss Hillary. Is it safe to say we're going to see a two-quarterback system, a little bit of Cody Craig and a little bit of Jamie Childers, or will you just go Jamie uh, to start against Charleston Southern? You're going to have to wait and find out. we got to get ready and see which one can do the best job. All right, Coastal fans, I tried my best, but we're going to keep that one under wraps until later on in the week. Coach, congratulations on a great win, and uh, it was really nice to see the seniors go out in style and a very hard-fought win against Presbyterian. Yes, sir. Very proud of our guys, and uh, we've got two more to go, Rich. For the coach, I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another edition of the David Bennett Show. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by People's Underwriters with two locations in Conway and Carolina Forest. Visit peoplesunderwriters.com. We're proud to have Coastal Ice as part of our team this year, providing ice to the PD and all over the Grand Strand. We're proud to bring you the Coastal Ice cool play of the game. And when you think of ice, think of Coastal Ice and call 488-4ICE. Everyone at Coastal Ice wants to wish the Shawna Clears the best of luck. Coastal Ice says, Go Shots! Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burgers. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle Zimlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. My HTC Digital Cable Service delivers all my favorite shows, movies, and sports entertainment. We always crack up watching comedies on video on demand and raise a roof cheering for our favorite sports teams in high def. HTC offers all the channels and features I love and connects me with the ones who mean the most. NFL Network and NFL Red Zone provide the most extensive weekly coverage and put you in the action with every touchdown. Now available on HTC Digital Cable. HTC. This is life. Connect with it.